My name is Nur Shafiqa bin Muhammad Kadi and I am from AM1105 and my name number is 2024530 My metric number is 2024-912915. That's all. Bye. Hi, Alia. Hi, Shaira. Hi. Can I ask you something? Yes, sure. Uh, do you know about annuity? Wait, where is that? Okay, yeah. let's go. of annuity, we should know the meaning of S, A, R, small capital N, and small capital I. So what is S? S is referred for future value of annuity, accumulated amount, and total saving. Meanwhile, A is referred for present value of annuity and original loan. R is referred for amount of the periodic or series payment. And small capital N is referred for number of interest period or payment. And small capital I is referred for interest rate per interest period. So that's all we know. We have two types of formula. The first one is saving. We use this formula to find future value, which is S equal R bracket, open bracket, 1 plus I, power of N, minus 1, and divide into I and close bracket and the other formula is to find interest which is i equal to s minus r in bracket n the second one is loan which is to find the original value or present value so a equal to r bracket 1 minus open bracket 1 plus small capital i power of negative n and divide into i and close bracket the other one is to find interest which is i equal to r in bracket n minus a okay that's all let's move to example and repeat chazon wants to buy honda car he has to pay 946 trillion every month for nine years the down payment for the car is 8630 and interest rate 3.5% compounded monthly Let's move to the first question. Find the original value of the loan. First thing first, we need to list the information given. R equal to 946 ringgit, P equal to 9 years, K equal to 0.035, and M equals to 12. So we need to use this one. A equal to R in bracket 1 minus in bracket 1 plus i close bracket in the power of negative n over i so we need to put the information in this formula 946 trillion in bracket 1 minus in bracket 1 plus 0 0.035 per 12 close bracket in the power of negative in bracket 12 multiplies 9 close bracket over 0.035 and the answer is 26,317 ringgit 51 For question B, Chazwan wants to know the total interest that he need to pay. 
we use the survey interest formula. Firstly, we need to list the information first. So, R equal to 946. N equal to 12 in bracket 9. While A equal to 26,370 ringgit 51 cents. And then, we need to put all this information into the formula. I equal to 946 ringgit in bracket 108 minus 26,370 ringgit 51 cents. So the total interest that Shazwa need to pay is 75,797 ringgit 49 cents. Okay, that's all for me. Um, hi. Hi. I want to invest, but I don't know how to invest. Can you guys help me? Sure. Let me see. Compound interest. Compound interest is the interest on deposit calculated based on both the initial principal and the accumulated interest from previous periods. Next, compound interest is interest you earn on interest. You can compound interest on different frequency schedules such as daily, monthly, or N. S is equal to maturity value. K is for nominal interest rate. After that, M is for frequency. Small i is for periodic interest rate. How can we get value of i? We should put value of k divided value of n. And then, n is referred to the number of interest period. We can get the value of n using the value of m divided the value of t. The value of t is referred to term or length in years. Lastly, capital I is referred to interest amount. Let's look at the example. Adam invests RM500 into BSN bank account that paid an interest rate of 3% compounded only. Let's find the amount Adam earned after 5 years. The formula is S, the future value, equals to P, the principal, in bracket 1 plus I power of N. So we put the value into the formula. S equal to 500 in bracket 1 plus 0103 the rate divided 12 because it compounded monthly. And power of 60. We have to multiply the year and the monthly compounded which is 12 to get the end. The final answer is S equal to 580. At the same, that is the amount that Adam earned after 5 years.